um, the exhibit curated by Sudeika and Zinga Terrell. Um, I'm Jay Sun, I'm the director here at On Floor Gallery. Um, on behalf of Arts Development, we are very proud and honored uh, to share art um, with Sudeika and, and her uh, Infinity Collective. It's a very strong movement uh, displaying the power and strength of black women and how, okay. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, it's worth that, right? It's worth that. So uh, we at On Floor Gallery uh, definitely want to salute that type of work that is being done through the art to actually affect the lives of people in real time. So we salute Sudeika um, for your work um, in the arts and with these women. But on, on behalf of Arch, um, I'd like to bring up one of our lead executive board members um, on behalf of Dwayne Gaudier, who cannot be, this, be here this evening because he's under the weather. But he's a, a very big fan of you and, and, and James, very much so. And he wanted to uh, be here, but he sent Luis on his behalf. So Luis Del Valle. Thank you, Jason. And once again, I just want to welcome everyone here today. Um, I always say that the success of a show is the people showing up and to support the artists. And the artists that we're celebrating here today are the same artists you're going to see in books in the future. And you may even see them in books now. Uh, this exhibition here is one of the stronger ones I've seen. So I want to congratulate you again for this great work and all the women that really are creating history today are reading are writing another page in the books that we are going to read hundreds of years from now. And I'm going to read a little speech that uh, Dwayne uh, sent. Uh, as Jason mentioned, he's a little bit under the weather, but he wanted to say that um, he's sorry that he couldn't be here tonight, uh, but he was uh, he got infected with COVID, so he's not feeling well. And as you are aware, Humphrey Gallery Distinguished Artist Award is the only such honor specifically for an East of the River artist. The award was established by the late Sharon Hughes Gautier, founded founder of both Arch and Humphrey. She she early on recognized the depth and talent in all genres of the art existed east of the river and across you. Tonight's honoree optimizes this talent. Introducing the honoree tonight this evening is James Terrell, a former winner of the East of the River District Award. And before up, uh, one of the things that I love about James and Sudeika is the way they work together. Uh, I have not seen a power couple doing it the way they do it because when you see one, you see the other. They are truly flesh of my flesh and blood of my blood. So congratulations to you both and here you go. Good evening everybody. Good evening. Thank you all for coming out to celebrate this achievement for Sudeka. So 13 years ago, I could say I was a hater. <laughs> I was driving up Georgia Avenue, past Howard, and I looked to my left and I saw this mural. And it was a mural that I didn't understand why it was there or who had done it. And I wondered why I wasn't given the opportunity to do this mural. And then one day, some months later, two friends of mine came over to my house. And one friend said, let's go to an art show. And one of the other friends said, let's go to the club and meet some ladies. And I was like, no, nah, I'll go to the art show. <laughs> go to the art show. It was a great show, and I met Zudeka. And I was surprised at how beautiful her artwork was. And I gave her my card, and I said, contact me. And she called me some weeks later. We went out to eat for lunch, and we talked. And as we talked, I found out that she was an artist who had done the mural and I was at all. And so since then, it's been 13 years later, and now we have been married, and we have three kids, we painted together, we literally painted on each other's paintings. <laughs> <laughs> How 
How many artists do you know who trust each other to work on each other's artwork? Yes. That's trust. Yes. <laughs> yes. We've rented countless U-Haul trucks to travel the U.S. installing and deinstalling our works. <laughs> yes. We've done solo and duo shows together. It's been such an amazing journey. Yes. And so I say that when she met me, she said, I am going to be a great artist. And I came to Earth to be an artist. And this lifetime, I'm not coming back. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she has been such an amazing artist. Uh, more than an artist. She is a great mother. Yes. She is a great wife. She is a great innovator, communicator, curator. Yes. She has been all these things. She has helped countless artists, and that's hard to come by. Because in our, our, as an artist, it's hard to find people who actually want to help you yeah. and don't want nothing in return. Yeah. And she's been that. And so we want to celebrate her today on this day as being the 2023 Distinguished Artist and woke up her into what we call the $5,000 Club. <laughs> Thank you today for all your work, all you continue to do, and all you will do in the future. We congratulate you. We honor you and we salute you. And we love you. And we encourage you. Thank you. Co-facilitator and co-installer Shanti Bullocks. Make some noise for her because I wouldn't know. Without her, she was one of the judges who helped pick who was going to be part of, of the program. And I just I could not have done this without you. I appreciate you so much. You are my sister. I love you. And just thank you for always making me better. I love that. Um, but one of the things that she mentioned was that when she looked up the gallery, there's all these comments about how the gallery doesn't give back to the community. And that could be further from the truth of this space. And I think that sometimes, you know, we see somebody who maybe doesn't look like us or who maybe might not come from the same community as us and they put something in our community and we feel like they're um, culture vultures, they're draining the community. And I want to be very clear, I would like all of you guys to go to the On Floor website and post a comment about how it was a grant from this gallery that allowed the Infinity Collective to happen. Amen. That grant, we said that we was going to try to target eight black women. And we was going to look at opportunities specifically for black women artists who are living in East of the River. And I felt bad because we only ended up having, I think, two artists who live east of the river, because a lot of the artists who live east of the river just were not quite ready. And it let me know that there is a need for more programming to happen that is focused east of the river. And this is one of the few locations that has funding that is specifically geared towards artists east of the river. So I want y'all to go onto Reddit and Yelp and all of that. And I want you to say that. I want you to say, I went to an event tonight where a sister got a grant to impact other sisters, and especially other sisters in the community. And that this is a gallery that has consistently made an effort to give back to the community where it resides. This is not a location of culture vulture. Sure. This might not be somebody who look like us all the time, but this is a person who is invested in this community and opportunities for people of this community. Terrence's installation, his business, mm -hmm. if he learned that here, he grew that here. Y'all book him. I couldn't afford it this time. 
because I definitely didn't want to install this show. <laughs> but I want to say that the second thing and the most important thing that I want to say is if you know me, you know that politically, I'm a very, very political person. I'm very much about my black community. Everything I do is for the black community. Everything I do. So I want to acknowledge the sisters whose work is up on this wall tonight. And I want to say, if you are a person who has followed me, if you're here because you have seen me, you've watched me, I want you to follow them. And I want you to watch them. Because these are the people whose art you need to have on your walls before these joints is $10,000. And every sister in here, with the exception of her, because this is already 30K. So. <laughs> sisters real quick I want to make sure that I give specific love to the two sisters whose work is a little bit obscure by the requirements of the setup of the band we always want to make sure that we can see our sisters work we have some fire code you got to make sure that the, that the floor is a certain way and whatnot and so we have for us to have the band we had to have the band set up in a certain way and in a certain location and unfortunately that means that we're obscuring the view of Candice's work. And her work is very important. Her IG is on the wall here. I want you to make sure that you take a picture of her IG and everybody's IG, and I want you to follow her. But it is of the utmost importance tonight. If you take a picture of anybody's art, you come over here, and you take a picture of her art, and you put her art up because we're not as able to see it tonight as I would have liked to see it, and that disappoints me. But it's just a part of the layout here, but I want her to know that you are valuable, and that your work is valuable, and that I will do all things to make sure that you are seen in the way that you deserve to be seen. So I want us to give some love to Candace tonight. <laughs> Before the band comes back on, please come and take pictures with Candace's work. Um, I want to get some love to some Nile Brown Riders for her King's Core Barbershop piece. This joint, y'all. While the band is taking a break, make sure that you come back here and look into it. This show is going to be up until November 4th, so come back when we're not having an event where you can spend some time and look at all of these women's work. And I wanted to just take a minute to acknowledge Camilla, who couldn't be here tonight because she's um, doing another uh, event for our all night. She's, we have women in this program spanning from um, early 20s to early 50s. And we sat down for eight weeks and we shared with each other everything we knew about art and every resource that we had. I had people come in who I had just met in life and was like, come on, come and tell us. We had an art consultant, we had a trademark attorney, we had a, a person who does uh, acquisitions for the Blacksonian, we had a grant coordinator for the DC Commission of Arts, like we really worked on our business. And I want y'all all in here to know that every single sister in this program is now showing their work regionally. Yeah. All the way up and down the coast. Y'all ain't clapping enough, because let me tell you something. Before I take this check, in the museum world, only 3% of the art in a permanent collection is by a woman. And that's not even including black women. We are a minuscule amount of art that is collected. So for sisters on their own, unrepresented by any other gallery space to do the work to put themselves together to show on a level like this is a big deal i want you to give my sister yeah. love. Yeah. so i'm almost done y'all i'm sorry <laughs> but i want you to give love to camille i want you to give love to joy Matt. i want you to give love to danny green I want you to give love to Vanessa. I want you to give love to Liz. I want you to give love to Shanti. I want you to give love to Bria. I want you to give love to Shante. I want you to give love to Rashada. And I want y'all to give love to Artis and Sana and Candace. Can we make some noise for them? Tag them, share them with your 
collectors, if you are thinking about purchasing a piece, I am sure that we can work out payment plans and situations to support these artists to make sure that you get that art on your walls because you will not be able to afford these pieces. I wrote all of them about their prices, y'all. I wrote everybody. I told them they had a price at a certain point. So you ain't going to be able to get this price point again. Buy something from here. Support this gallery being here and support these sisters. All of their information is right here. If you like their piece, you stay with them. You save your little coins. Whatever you have to do, you put it in these sisters' pockets. That is revolution. That is black power. That's what we do for one another. That is how we support our art infrastructures in this community. We give love to the sisters. The band, oh, did y'all sell out all the CDs already? God damn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, make sure y'all follow the Eddie Anderson Project. I'm sure that you can order some um, CDs and information from there. They be killing it. They always are with us. Last thing, I promise. I'm sorry. Last thing, Bria. Yeah. She got a solo coming up. Opening. Oh, God damn it. You're not gonna make it. I'm not gonna I'll never make it, Gia. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can never make it, y'all. I'm so sorry. You make it. You make it in ways that count. Because I have an opening at Art of Noise on October 20th. Me and my husband got a duo show called Watermelon Chicken and Cornbread. That's opening. Oh, that's awesome. I might have to move that. We might figure it out. Anyway, stay tuned. Bria, I want y'all, don't come to me. Go see Bria. Go see Bria at the Eaton. Enough people will come to me. Y'all go see Bria, y'all take your coins and go see Bria. And you buy them pieces from her at the Eaton. I don't need y'all to come to Art of Noise. Go to Bria at the Eaton. When y'all do come to Art of Noise, go tomorrow or October 7th for Vanessa and Candice have a duo show. showing right now tomorrow is a brunch artist talk i want y'all to take your coins and go and buy them pieces support them sisters support that black gallery i know that it's kind of um taboo to do this but like shout out to a black gallery getting top three with two of the like consistent white galleries that always get that shout out from the washington post i don't know he's been doing the goddamn thing so make sure you got people Somebody show coming up? Just follow us. Follow us all. Follow us all because we all have wonderful things coming up. And I want you to support. Uh, so now has a. Where at? Touchstone. Oh! And that's that soon. It is a solo at Touchstone Gallery. Lazarus Building in Baltimore for the Micah uh, Mount Royal, the Mount Royal Fall Show. So if you in Baltimore, ride your butt up to Baltimore. It is incredible artwork, and there's many opportunities for you to support us. Follow everybody and support everybody. Shanti, thank you. So when I count to three, I want everybody to clap and make as much noise as possible because today she gets a check. Yesterday we had the I think it was before yesterday we had the Merit Art Award, and everybody that won got a little shiny little trophy, but they could not deposit that into the bank. But this goes into the bank. So I want everybody when I count to three, 
clap and make as much noise for the star of the evening. So they got one, two, three. Yeah, we can we move the speaker up a little bit? Yeah. I would love that. Yeah, if that's 